Okay, so our next stage is that we want to be able to uh, uh, be able to acquire visitor and release the visitor as we're uh, as like you know when we're done with it, right? So we want to say basically to demonstrate everything, we need to then uh, essentially say uh, pull uh, release visitor and uh, basically say that we're no longer using this visitor, and over here we can say use the visitor okay and so we can do this as as we as as we please right so this would be also interesting to visualize the visitor that we get basically we can say system out print line print line uh, and we can say um, uh, using a visitor Right and uh, say visitor, uh, visitor um, hash code. Right, we can basically display the uh, the hash code that we get. Uh, okay, so the visitor, of course, is coming back as null, of course, because right now it's not being uh, implemented at all. Acquire visitor right here says null, so that's. That's not the way we want to, to go. So let's first write some code which would manage this, uh, this uh, uh, array list. Well, since the array list essentially belongs to that reusable pool, uh, most likely when we say um, acquire visitor, it's very likely that we want to enter a critical section and not allow anyone else to manipulate the pool while we're doing it, right? So we're going to basically copy this critical section lock over here to make it safe and then remember to release the lock when we're done. It's pretty pretty standard uh, type of idea that you realize that uh, everybody else in this application is sharing this uh, array list of reusable objects. So therefore, uh, when we need to manage it, uh, we need to protect it from multiple threads. Uh, you know, possibly concurrently uh, trying to uh, read or write this information. So we need to we need some level of protection and critical section is perfect uh, perfectly available to us because we already have this uh, complete uh, implementation of the uh, singleton. All right, so what do we do? So we, perhaps what we can do is that first of all uh, we can say uh, uh, there could be uh, 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 you know multiple scenarios. For instance. Uh, uh, um, we can say, uh, are there available uh, objects, right? Objects. So uh, we need to be able to uh, essentially identify whether the objects are, are available or not. And for this, um, you know, to make it uh, somewhat uh, interesting in terms of using the reusable visitor, I say, I, I just say, uh, my data attributes uh, will be uh, 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 private, private uh, boolean uh, in use, right? Essentially, have a flag that says whether the visitor is in use or not. Uh, and uh, initially, I can set it to false, right? So that when the visitor is created, uh, it's not in use. However, uh, later I can just basically say uh, we can insert the code and uh, again generate uh, getter and setter methods and say for the uh, uh, for this boolean I can say is in use and set in use, right? And basically uh, control it by uh, changing the value of this attribute, right? So this way, every visitor can tell us right away, are you in use or not? So this way, we can we can both we can change it, we can we can analyze it. All right. So acquire visitor. So I think that um, uh, uh, you know, and perhaps. Uh, instead of making this comment look like a question, instead uh, uh, use more of a command style comment, such as search, 
uh, search for uh, uh, for an object for an object um, which uh, already and we can say a reusable object a reusable a reusable object which already exists right so uh, in this search what we do is essentially we can look through our our collection which is reusables right so that's our collection we can say for uh, for any reusable visitor right uh, visitor right here uh, which we'll name visitor uh, uh, inside our reusables collection, we can say if, right? We can say if uh, this uh, visitor, if this visitor uh, uh, is um, um, is is in use, uh, is, is essentially we need to say not in use, right? Uh, to flip the the boolean value, uh, we can say. Uh, visitor uh, basically set in use and say true right and uh, uh, make it uh, in use and return right so this way we essentially return the visitor that we are that we just located and we said okay let's change its status to to be in use and uh, uh, then uh, basically uh, uh, return its instance. Okay. So then we can say that uh, uh, search for reusable object which already exists failed. We couldn't find it, right? Apparently, uh, the situation is meant to be that reusable array is empty or each element there already is in use, right? So we can say then if, right? If, uh, so here we can say add new uh, add new reusable instance. Uh, we can just say create, right? Create, create and add. It's important that we're making decision to create brand new uh, visitor uh, and then instantly add it to the to the uh, and add it to the pool. Add it to the pool. Okay, add it to the pool. So let's take a look what what we can do. Well, first of all, if right, we need to now check uh, and notice that we do everything inside this critical section. All this work is done inside the critical section. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to say if uh, the reusables, which is an array list, reusables. Uh, if the size, right, uh, if the size of the reusables uh, is, uh, uh, I don't know, greater or equal uh, the uh, a max uh, pool size, right, if it's greater or equal max uh, pool size, we really can no, cannot do much. We just have to, uh, uh, have to say that uh, uh, we couldn't do it, right? So we can say return null. We can just say return null, and null will indicate that uh, uh, it wasn't possible to do, right? So uh, of course we need to document this, uh, you know, add Java doc to this method to say that if the method fails, it returns a null. Or we could also throw an exception. Uh, depends on our design. Most likely, in a realistic uh, commercial system, it would uh, uh, throw an exception, right? Um, so here we can say that uh, uh, the pool limit is reached, right? Is reached, so we, we fail, right? Uh, uh, so say we fail. And again, the idea of a fail is in this uh, more or less simplistic, uh, uh, you know, approach is to simply return a null. 
So returning a null would require the caller to check whether the result is null or not. And finally, if everything is fine, then what we can do is that essentially we can say uh, reusable visitor, right? We can just create reusable visitor. Essentially create it like this. New reusable visitor, create, create, create new visitor. Then we can say reusables add, right? Add, uh, add the visitor like this and uh, then we can say return the visitor oh and we also have to mark the visitor uh, visitor uh, we need to mark it as uh, uh, set in use right and uh, set in use true right so we just create the visitor set this to be uh, our our visitor to be in, in, in use. Uh, add this to the to the to the to the pool. Uh, release critical section and return. And here, uh, I don't know if you if you already noticed this, uh, but I kept thinking about it. I didn't want to disrupt everything we talked about. But anytime we return, we have to remember to say critical section release. Otherwise, we'll be in deep trouble because. It's going. It's not going to work too well, uh, right? Because we need to say uh, we need to release the critical section. Otherwise, we'll be simply be in trouble, right? So every time we say return, before each return, we need to make sure that we uh, release the critical section, right? So that's 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 very 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 important. Otherwise, our idea of uh, uh, you know uh, multi -sh multi threaded shared access to all of these resources will be broken.